What's going on, y'all? Text podcast summit to 33777. And that's right. And be at Midtown Tech Hive, 6 p.m., April 18th. See you there. See y'all there. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Pull Up Experience. We have another great edition for y'all guys. Episode one, look at it, one ninety five. Almost to two hundred. Almost two hundred. Roll two hundred. Yes. It. And we have the fantastic, amazing, phenomenal Miss Tracy Spragans on. Did I get it right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, right. <laughs> and then we have Miss Brittany with us tonight. Hey, y'all already know who I am, and I, I'm excited because we. It's going to be a good episode, so it thank is, you for coming tonight. Yes, yes. We appreciate you tonight. Absolutely. So, y'all already know, we like to start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Represent your hood. What part of the are you from? I'm from Shaker. Come on, I'm hey. Shaker. Hey. Represent Shaker, shout out to Come on, Shaker. Shaker. Come on, Shaker. Okay. Put it up for Shaker. Hey. <laughs> so, okay. So, growing up at Shaker, mm-hmm. um, did you automatically know what you want to do with your rest of life, or was it something that eventually came later on in life? Mm. Oh, that was a good question. So I'll try. Growing up in Shaker, um, I would definitely say that I was always around um, a really diverse community. Mm-hmm. So I was exposed to a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom was always putting me in activities from like karate to Girl Scouts. I was in Girl Scouts for an extremely long time. That was <laughs> hey, no, too no. long to be and I'm not even going to say it because it's kind of embarrassing. I'm about to say you got to connect with the mint joints. So I don't even know. It took out the words. So just, you know, being diverse, um, seeing different things. And um, I've always had a creative spirit about me. Mm. Um, since I was young, I was always um, writing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would make my mom little poetry books and like mm-hmm. gift it to her for holidays. So I've always had like a creative spirit. Yeah. Um, and then I actually really like to teach. You know, children are my passion. So yeah. um, I started off... Um, going to school for education, mm-hmm. um, minor in psychology. Um, I went out to Kent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I went out to Kent State. I partied too much, so my mom had to bring me home. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went over we to John Carroll. Like uh-huh. um, then after that, um, I just kind of uh, did our own thing. Um, me and Asia, um, who is the uh, child to Asia, Asia. Um, childhood friend since the first grade, um, we had started a nonprofit. It's called Let's Make a Change Foundation. Mm. We've been doing nonprofit work since um, we were 19. So we got our first um, after school program when we were, let's say, like maybe like 20. We were really young. Wow. Like, you know, we were doing like toy drives and stuff, but then yeah. we started um, doing an after school program. It was called um, Cover Girls. So just mentoring um, school um, kids. Um, we were at Heritage Middle School. And then just doing that, I really, like, found a passion, you know, Mm. mentoring youth, um, doing creative things. We would do fashion shows, um, skits and everything, and um, put it together at the end and then showcase what we've been doing to, you know, the parents and faculty. So um, started doing that. Um, After that, we opened up the daycare, then the restaurant, and now we have creative space. So it's kind of just been a a trickle effect of, like, different things um, and... It, they kind of seem all over the place, mm-hmm. but not really. So, they all interconnect, though. Yeah, they yeah. all interconnect. So it's just like we had our um, nonprofit and our after school program, and we, you know, daycare. We still working with kids. Asia is the restaurant. She not a cook. Mm-hmm. Not really me. I mean, I can, but mm-hmm. so you dabble. I yeah, dabble. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but I can't take the heat in the kitchen. She, one time, <laughs> I remember this one time, everybody called off. And we've had situations like this before where mm-hmm. it's like at the daycare, everybody call off. I can handle the kids. I can multitask the kids. Yeah. But everybody call off in a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Ooh, my heart was pounding. <laughs> Tickets coming back. And then, you know, I literally had to learn every recipe on yeah. the spot. Like, mm-hmm. I know the rest. I know I've seen them cooking, but actually cooking it. And this is when we had to add, <clears throat> make cheese sauce from scratch and yeah. do all this stuff from scratch. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm sweating. I'm like, don't ever let me do that again. So <laughs> <laughs> we got enough staff where I never have to step into the kitchen. Yeah. So I don't do that. But, yeah. 
No, listen. <laughs> no, and, and, okay, so I, I, I want so I, what I love about our podcast is uh-huh. that we talk about the stuff because everybody sees the glory, they don't see the story behind uh-huh. it. Right? Uh-huh. And I want to talk about them days where y'all was like, you know what, we ought to hang it up, right? Mm-hmm. Those are the days because I. Ooh, the, we had some. Let's talk about it. Let's yeah, talk about it because yeah. like, entrepreneurs, everyone just thinks entrepreneurship is just this easy mm-hmm. thing, and it's mm-hmm. and you just get into it and it's, it's flawless. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. No. So let, let's talk about Absolutely that. not. So I already said something in the kitchen that day when everybody called mm-hmm. up. But um, just being in, like, daycare and stuff, you mm-hmm. know, since we really have a passion for children, um, a lot of people get into, um, you know, things for, like, money or just yeah. to have a job. Mm-hmm. And just, we really want our staff to be people who are just as passionate about, you know, the youth as us, you know? So, um, just like having to um, run through a staff Mm -hmm. and, you know, fire and get new people. And uh, right now, I feel like we have a good team where we're able to step away. But it was those times where it was just like we couldn't step away, Mm -hmm. you know? So, let me ask you this question. Like, how do you determine someone is, you know, because everyone sounds good in an interview. Yeah. Right. Everybody. Uh, everyone's on good, right? And everybody is good the first couple of weeks. You're like, ooh, right. we look up. <laughs> we look up somebody. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. No. No. So how do you how do you yeah. how do you determine like someone's a good fit? Because like to have people around just like elderly people, same mm-hmm. thing with kids. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a different you have a different type of spirit yeah, about you. How for do you sure. how do you determine those things? You can't determine. Mm-hmm. That's just it's short answer. You can't determine. It's just you're gonna I mean, whenever we take on somebody new, we Pray about it. Mm-hmm. We wish it the best, and then it's just we gotta see how it works itself out because mm-hmm. it's just. I mean, we even had people come in with degrees who look perfect on yeah. paper and come mm-hmm. in, and we're like, yeah, but you ain't got no experience. You don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So, or we've had people, you know. Oh, we're gonna get into that. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, move yeah, right along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right along. You, but um, yeah, we definitely have had those days. Um, whether it be um, in a daycare or restaurant where we just had to thug it out, mm-hmm. just me and her, mm-hmm. and it, it is what it is. We got to thug it out sometimes. No, because listen, I want, I want, I, if I had to have a tip it to y'all, because mm-hmm. I love my kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other people's kids, not so much. <laughs> so I, I just know that it takes a different type of spirit, it takes a whole it different type of demeanor to does. deal with kids. Then, then multiple kids, I'm talking yeah. about. So no. But on top of that, it's just you really have to have. Um, compassionate empathy mm. um <laughs> no, that's because rude. you really when a kid because everybody you know have a kid that might take them there but you really got to step back and um think about it and just be like you know some of these kids you know if you ain't got no lights on at home yeah if you ain't got your parents working mm. and you don't you know have time to be, you're gonna act out you right, know right, right, right. so i mean we've had you know, a kid that look all right on the outside, but then once we get to know, it's just like they having problems at home. Wow. So you gotta really like, you know, be empathetic and be, you know, take every situation case by case yeah. and not jump to, you know, um, discipline a child or, you know, um, really just be there to um, be like a counselor or a, a parent. You, yeah. uh, you're a lot of roles, yeah. you know. That's good. So. Um, yeah, just have an open mind and have a lot, a lot of patience. Yeah. And one thing that I used to when I you get, especially like when I um work in daycare, I'm pregnant, emotional and stuff. I'm like, oh, this is a lot, this is a lot. I don't even know if I can work while I'm pregnant. <laughs> and then it's like, um, I was like, okay, God, I'm praying for patience. I'm praying for patience. But one thing I know now. Don't pray for patience because mm. God is going to give you situations to be patient. Because <laughs> mm. when I start paying for patience, yeah. that's when everything started coming in. I was like, okay, God, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. <laughs> now I'm cool. Now I can multitask. I do all of that. And now I'm able to hop all over from different yeah. things, you know, go to the daycare, um, then leave there, go to our after school program. I was coming from there. That's why we was running late. And then to leave here, go to creative space. And then oh, leave here, go to right. hockey practice, basketball practice, whatever, you yeah. know? Because um, I developed that skill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. 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 This is a super right there. That's yeah, right. for sure. Over time. Mm, over time. Yeah. So let me ask you this. And 
Because I know that you age once again, y'all 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 like Kobe and Shaq over there or whatnot. <laughs> what is it like working together with someone that you know for a long time? You know, because it's different because you guys are friends, yeah. but yeah. having business together is a whole different thing too. How do you guys operate um, that? I think that um, just having like a mutual respect. I know a lot of people, um, relationships, um, whether it be, um, you know, a platonic relationship or even when people go into business with their partner, you know, it can be hard, but as long as you communicate, um, then, you know, you can get through stuff, you know, um, so it it definitely has been moments where it's like um even though we're friends, you know, Asia gotta come to me as like my boss or my partner and really like let me know like, okay, you slacking in this area, we gotta, you know, do this or I might have to tell her, like, you know, you gotta pick up and do this or something like that. But as long as um we don't hold grudges or yeah. you know, we're being honest and you know, we have those moments like, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, so brace yourself. Mm-hmm. Brace but da 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 da, and I we've never had a falling out. We've never we actually agree on a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So it's really you know we don't never really have um, those times. But not gonna whip. <laughs> but um, I mean, just working with anybody, it's yeah. gonna be frustrations from the day to day, and um, but we're both really easygoing people where we're able to pick up the slack where That's you know good. it needs to be or you know willing to help and willing to be there over time yeah. and really put in i mean it just comes with something and when you're doing something for a passion and not for the money or you know for results you know mm-hmm. it's just it's easier to go about that process you know mm-hmm. But a lot of people, you know, when you're in it for the money or not for the good reason, for a good reason, you know, mutually, then that's when the arguments and stuff yeah. come. But I don't think we have those. No, that's good. Uh, that's great. So I've, I've heard some horror stories. I, I've yeah, been in stories. and I've been yeah. in some horror stories too. Mm. You know, um, before um, I'm juggling in all of these different businesses, I worked with a family member of mine and just. Um, Seeing how they interact, mm. I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is like too much, and then yeah. not be able to separate um, personal from business, mm. you know. Yeah. So even when you have like disagreements in your personal relationship, you mm. know, bring that mm. to the business and be like, I don't want to talk to them today. Like, oh, we can't do that because now yeah. the yeah. employees not getting paid. We not opening up because y'all bickering, you know. Right. So yeah. it's like we can't do that can't no, move like good. that. Nope. No, that's good. Like I said, and, and, and I, it'd be us. Because mm, yeah. I, 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 I've seen other other uh, nationalities where they're able to conduct business and still mm-hmm. be difference of opinion, mm-hmm. difference of this, mm-hmm. and still it's conduct business at the end of the day. Yeah. It's about business, right? Yeah. It's about business. Sure. But I think just as a culture, um, not um, seeing a lot of entrepreneurs mm-hmm. of our color, you know, Nobody had this. Nobody taught us, you know. Other ethnicities, they didn't have these businesses for years and years and years and years. Mm-hmm. So it's a trickle effect. They've been knowing about this since they was kids, so they able to carry on that legacy, know how to move. Right. Us being, you know, black people and open up these business, and this is our first business venture, and yeah. we gotta learn as we go. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna even hate on other business owners who do run into all these other complications because nobody showed them. Right. So it's like it's a learning process. So I mean, I really give my hats off to any entrepreneur <laughs> because it is a learning process. So yeah. Kudos to them. Kudos to y'all. Kudos okay. to y'all. <laughs> so okay, and it, I, I, and correct me wrong. I just love the fact that you guys are able to see the vision. Mm-hmm. And. And I know for me, it's always about we have a vision and we're going to go back to that and be like, all right, yeah. what, what, what do we need to get in here to do? Yeah. Are we doing that? Not, okay, let's get back to this, mm-hmm. the, you as a, as, as, a, as an arrow to point us in the right mm-hmm. direction. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And we do that a lot. We will sit down and have a meeting like, okay, what is it that you really want to do? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, we I've been in situations um, where it's like, I'm just, you know, you've been in a situation where you're just moving from day to day and you get in that cycle and it's just like, okay, 
I need a break. Mm -hmm. But we've had those situations where we sit down like, okay, what is it that you really want to do so we can make sure we're working up to that? Yeah. You know, it might be, you know, a tornado right now. It might be chaotic, but as long as we working up to that and we got a goal and we know where we're going, we could, you know, work our way through that and just get to the, you know. No, and that's, you know, that's good. And, I, and, and let me talk about my second home, Creative Space. Now, Creative Space, I, 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 I promise you, if y'all have not got a chance to go to Creative Space, you what, you, what have where you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Right? It's for the culture. It's exactly. for the community. No, that's, that's a fact. And I, this is one thing I want to shout out Ace because I remember she had gave me a tour of the place before. I'm talking about the studs and like mm -hmm. just everything. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, and like she's telling me like she sees it plain as day. Yes. And I'm, I'm looking like, okay, yes. yeah, okay, maybe she's a little crazy. This, this, is my, this is my first time meeting Angel. No, mm -hmm. Angel's not on this plane with her. But, <laughs> but I'm talking about the fact that she's seen it. Yes, vision. Vision, vision. no, hand, hands down. And now to see where it is now, mm -hmm. you know? And it's just a place of creatives for innovators, creative. I mean, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, it's an amazing place. Yeah. So I want to talk about that process. The whole yeah. process, yes. Because, like, okay. Yes, let, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, us. Yeah. All right, well, um, I've always really been, like, the more creative person, mm. so whenever we have something, it's like, okay, you're going to have to do, like, on a creative end, I'll do the business end. I'm like, okay, mm. cool. Um, but initially, when we were opening Creative Space, we were looking for another daycare. Wow. Um, or, you know, some type of facility because, you know, to do our, like, mentoring with our um, older kids and stuff, so... Um, she was, you know, looking at spaces. We went in there, and then she came back. She was like, okay, yeah, scrap that. We're doing something different. I'm like, huh? Mm. You know, so then after she's explaining the concept, and of course I love it because yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. But it's like, okay, well, nobody's done this before. Nobody's in the city done this before. Yeah. You know, so um, how are we going to do this? Mm. And, you know, the building was nothing in there. Concrete. We had to build all the walls out. And... I just remember um, us just in there, like, uh, she like, we just going to take a leap of faith. And that is wow. what it is. We took some permanent markers. We wrote some prayers on the floors. Mm -hmm. And we said, we just want to rock and roll and, and do this, you know. So, um, yeah, we opened up last year. So, it's been, it's, it's a year now. It's been a year now? It's been a year now. It's been a year. Um so just creating space for um, mm. creatives to, you know. Literally. <laughs> yeah, right. For creatives to, you know, cultivate a project, to yeah. um, come together, socialize, you know, use the music studio, podcast studio, um, you know, just to thrive. Yeah. Um, we mm -hmm. offer um, mentoring and branding, um, even um, life coaches, whatever you want to do to help expand on your business. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we, you know, have some fun events, you know, this weekend, and we got you coming through with the wine tasting. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to that, and then, you know, we got, um, our jazz night, we've done all type of events, so, it's really exciting. Listen, uh, It's really exciting to see unfold. And yeah. I just, and, and when I say this is for the culture, because it's like... I live down the street, by the way, mm -hmm. right? And the fact that y'all got it in the middle, and I, I love Woodwork, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, oh, they put it in the middle. Ooh, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Uh -huh. But at the same time, y'all bring culture to a place mm -hmm. that needs it. Yeah. For sure. Ex mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, not even just that, it's the fact that you can come there, you can come there to learn, you can come there to create, you can come to there eat. To, to eat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sure. Network. Network. And just literally expand your horizons as a whole mm -hmm. or whatnot. Like I said, it's not too many places like that that I know of. Yeah. yeah. You might have one, you might have this, but you don't have all this together. And on top of that, you walk in there, you feel welcome. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> so, like, like I just want to commend y'all for that because, once again, y'all have done something that I feel like no one else has done mm -hmm. and that it will continue to thrive because of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you no, know, yeah. absolutely. It's exciting. So let's talk about Dream Inc. Okay, Dream Inc. <laughs> so Dream Inc. Um, it started off. So I'm also a children's book uh, writer. Come on. So, <laughs> so it started off as just publishing, um, but now it's going into um, a whole movement as far as um, curriculum for after school programming, um, and then in the future I'm trying to take it into like some type of talent agency. So let me just break it down. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say. Right. So, um. I wrote my book. Um, after the after I wrote a book, I wrote it about my son. So when I wrote it about my son, um, we were like, well, what else can we do with him? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> my partner over here, he's into music. 
Um, so he's like, we about to, we see all these kids on YouTube and stuff. We about to make our kids work. So, um, we put them in there. We made him a music video. We literally, so they wrote the song in like two days. After that, the next week we shot a music video and we did it so quick and uploaded Mm -hmm. it. We like, it was like the week before valentine's day and he made a little valentine's day little song we like we gotta upload on valentine's day so we got everything <laughs> shot and everybody's like how did y'all do that yeah, that quick like y'all were just saying time. like y'all about to do that so we like yeah i feel like we could do this so i was already doing programming in the school um it was based more on like literacy and um poetry and then i'm like well let's combine the literacy and the poetry with the music yeah. you know yeah, so it. um it's called literacy through music and the arts so the kids come in and they um, start off learning poetry concepts, mm-hmm. um, and then they take the poetry. We learn about different genres and music, and then they um, write and compose and come produce on. a music video. Um, <laughs> we have these, wow. so and it's perfect now that we have Creative Space. Mm-hmm. So right. we have um, our engineers on site. We have videographers. Um, we just took them up to creative space, had them in the music studio, oh, all up there, you know, have a field trip up there. And it's just really fun to see them. Um, the kids eyes light up when they are discovering like a new talent, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, and like, mm. this is very, um, attainable because I'm seeing that, you know, I could write this song. I could, produce this song and I can, you know, really like do something that I never thought, you know, with um, YouTube, social media, you know, you can take it anywhere, Mm -hmm. you know, so um, really meeting the kids where they are, you know, YouTube and social media is like their TikToks, they're really into that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like taking that and combining, you know, literacy and poetry into it, you know, to give it that background and like really, you know, take it further than that. (laughs) <laughs> no, I, awesome. so, yeah. so a great way to meet them where yeah. they are Absolutely. meet them where they right. are yeah. find what they love mm-hmm. um, get them to discover their passion yeah. we also yeah. combine it with um, our art component so we have mm-hmm. local artists come in and teach them um, you know painting and working with different um, mediums and stuff yeah. like that um, and then at the end of the um, project at the end of the uh, eight weeks that we do um they do an art gallery and then they do uh, um cool. they um show it for the school so it's really good um i'm just these kids yeah we had nothing like this yeah <laughs> so it's like really exciting and then um so this is our second of carrying that load drop the house gutter properties will buy your house as is with offers up to three hundred thousand dollars need serious repairs liens taxes or judgments we'll work through your unique situation to get that house off your back during your free no obligation appraisal we maintain social distancing and take every precaution to ensure your experience is safe drop the house gutter properties call us or visit gutterproperties.com i'm partnering with the school districts and um just showing them the mu- the music video from last year and they're seeing it like oh my gosh i could do this too yeah. so it's like really exciting um and as far as that i'm just really trying to um take that further yeah. um we found some kids who are really have talent mm-hmm. so it's like we about to manage y'all <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take this into a talent group. Okay. We got the space. We got the opportunity. Um, I'm trying to partner with the city, Man. and you know, really take this far. You know, um, yeah, and it's fun. Yeah, and it's really. Um, you see a passion behind it. Though, I see yeah. the passion right. behind it, and just seeing it come full circle, um, and just you know, partnering with amazing people. Um, to bring it forward and then this year so we did like a couple eight week programs but this year we're like the whole year so it's like we get to really work with the kids and see them develop um, and see them not only develop in the music but academically you know we have kids we do a a pre-test and we have kids you know um, it's something about that pandemic that really pushed kids behind literacy wow. and just reading and writing. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, getting them to read and write things that they really like. Um, we opened it up with like a um, free write in the beginning and getting them to freestyle and, you know, stuff like that. It's like, see, you're developing yeah. your yeah. vocabulary, your language, your, um, you know, your test scores are getting better. You're, you know, we're mentoring them. Yeah. So it's like... It's, it's more than that. 
No, and, and like I said, and I like I said, I'm jealous of these kids because I wish we had something to that mag too. Well, all uh-huh. we got was um, popsicle sticks and a, <laughs> and a recorder. You know, and they got a studio, they got the engineers, yeah. they got producers, they got all yes. the things to call the everything at their access. Yeah, and that's awesome. Uh-huh. No, that's a blessing right there. And the fact that you guys have a space for that mm-hmm. is just awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let me ask you this: How do you balance it all? Yeah. Like, I get asked that question a lot. <laughs> Prayer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me hit it one more time for yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> a grandma who's willing to take their mm. my kids a lot. Um, and then um, I've been trying to, you know, find some balance. Self care. Every everything is just self care, self care now. So yeah. trying to put in that self care component and just um, I don't know. Um, I like to keep busy. Yeah. Like. Um, single downtime. Huh? Yeah. I, I'm, I like to keep busy. So. Um, he can tell you, like, I'll be like, they'll be like, all right, just chill. I'll be like, I don't have no chill. It's something I, I could be doing. <laughs> you know, I like to go places on the weekend. My kids are in a million extracurriculars in sports. So, I don't know. I jump around. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. If you could see how many things I do in a week, you would be like, Whoa. I don't know how <laughs> you're doing. Like, just my Mondays are, are insane. You know, just hopping yeah. around. And then we also, at Creator Space, we added another program. So it's mm. a, um, autism autistic program. Okay. So it's called Seeing Through the Spectrum. Mm-hmm. So um, we all have background working with the autistic community. Um, so we teach them life skills. Um, they do an art component with me. They do art therapy. And then um, with Asia and with Tina, uh, shout out to Tina Sweet Shout out to Tina. She's coming up. With the sweets, <laughs> um, they learn a culinary component, and um, I love it. So it's um, 18 and up, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, just give something for that community because um, as they get older, it's like you want them to start learning more life skills and to be more yeah. independent. Yeah. So um, we were just trying to think of something, and... It's just like, I want to work with that community, but what should we call it? And I was like, yeah, well, we just call it, you know, seeing through the spectrum. Those are some great know, names just, for things, though. Yeah, like, oh, you know. Like, that name game yeah. is good. So it's uh, <laughs> it's um, social emotional education is the C. Is the C. And, um, you know, we no. do that. So I go to the daycare, I go there, yeah. and then I leave there, go to my after school program, leave there, come back to creative space, I have to do, leave there, go to sports. So, and, and then I just do it. I will never be thinking about my schedule ever again. Yeah. I, I thought I was doing a lot. I'm like, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. So. What's been the most satisfying? You know, having so many different things that you're venturing into. What's, what's been the most satisfying for you overall? Overall, the most satisfying, um, I think that each component of what I do is, like, that component of, um, Helping somebody um, discover their passion or um, helping somebody on their journey is really um, the component to me that really stands out. I mean, you have those moments in your day where it's like, okay, um, I'll have a student walk up to me and say, like, you know, you really helped me with this Mm -hmm. or, you know... um, a business owner who's um, I'm helping them out with, you know, branding or whatever it may be, and like, you really help me, or um, you know, whatever it is those little components of my day where I really felt like I made a difference. Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. what um, keeps me going for yeah. sure. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, that's good. So let me ask you this: What do you feel like the biggest misconception people have with being an entrepreneur? Because I know that you're gonna make a lot of money yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take a consideration um you gotta pay staff you mm-hmm. gotta pay bills you gotta take um <laughs> just the wear and tear every day but yeah. you they just see oh you got these businesses you got all this going on you making a lot of money mm-hmm. you rich no <laughs> because you don't want to you know yeah. You don't want to win and then your team is not winning. You want to Time be sucks. able to pay people for their services. You want to be able to, um, you know. So I see a lot of some entrepreneurs may be really rich. Mm-hmm. But then you 
not taking care of the don't people who got you there. You're not paying taxes. You're not paying taking care of the people who got you there. Yeah. You're not offering quality services. Mm. So it's like you're cutting corners. Yeah, yeah you're going to be driving true. that Maserati because, you know. Yeah. Um, well, but are they giving back to? Yeah. Where are they even giving back to so the So we do a lot of giving back. Yeah. Um, we yeah. also have Feed the Streets with um, Bite Creole Kitchen that we've been doing for a long time. Um, we give away, you know, over 100 meals a month. We actually get in the streets. Yeah. We're packing a meal. We bring our mentees with us and our kids to let them see the value of giving back. That's good. Um, so we cook the food. We take it down to, you know, different shelters. And we're passing it out every month. Mm-hmm. We are really making sure that um, we're giving back. So biggest misconception that God is money. But, I mean... We ain't struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you know, we're not going to start talking like, right. we doing it, you know what I mean? We doing it, but... <laughs> <laughs> trying to be humble or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Trying to be humble or whatnot. Yeah, we're trying to, you know, give like back, because that, that, that's what our core is, yeah, you know? Yeah. Our core is starting off nonprofit work, working with the community, you know, working with the youth. So it's like, as long as I can stay at, you know, my core values of what the type of person I really want to be is I'm happy. That's a bar right there. <laughs> okay. So we talk about the past. Mm-hmm. Talk, talk about the mm-hmm. future. What does the future hold for you, Miss Tracy? Okay, so I already was talking about the future of Dream Inc. I'm mm-hmm. trying to take this into talent agency. I'm trying mm-hmm. to take this, you know, start off with the partner with the city, take it nationwide. You know, I'm mm-hmm. talking about Atlanta, Houston, wherever, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to make connections all over. Um, as far as creative space, there is like no limit to That's creative true. space. Um it's been it's just such a diverse space where we could do so many things from you know culinary oh shout out to the culinary program that we have as well oh with the wow youth. Mm. I didn't um, know y'all, y'all doing yeah, it. yeah we yeah, have a everything. culinary program as well but that's um more based at um bright creole kitchen in south euclid mm-hmm. um so we have the culinary program that's Asian thing like i said don't put me in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Like I was saying, creative space is like really no limits. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just trying to do as many partnerships as we can with the city. Um, partner, bring in different entrepreneurs, yeah. um, help grow them. We can all grow together. Yeah. And that is, um, yeah. that's just really um, <laughs> another thing um, as far as being an entrepreneur. Um, we didn't have, you know, People try to steal our ideas, but you can't steal the sauce. You can't steal the secret sauce. You might, try you might try to take the idea, but if you don't, you know, know what you're doing with can't it, it's just gonna, sauce. it's not gonna be nothing. But um, as far as that, it's like um, we just really trying to connect people, and we can all win together. We don't have yeah. to step on each other's toes, you know. Um, we can uplift each other. Like, you know, Absolutely. you all a podcast. There's no reason why you can't promote another podcast. Absolutely. You know, we a restaurant. It's no reason why I can't go to another black-owned restaurant and, you know, shout them out and mm-hmm. tell them how the food is good. Give them some feedback. You know, wherever it may be, you know, I'm the type of person. Um, I'm transparent. If you need help with something, something, um, I just dropped my book box from my um, from my book. And somebody got it, hopped in my DM like, I love your book. How did you go about making it? And I told her. Yeah. You know, I didn't say, oh, can you buy this $1,000 course? I'm about to go ahead and here, invoice right here. Here you go. Um, here's a $1,000 course. I will walk you through it step right. by step. And then you can make your own book. I didn't, mm. I'm not going to mm. gatekeep that. I'm going to let you know I'm going to help you because a win is a win. Right. You know? That's it. And that was another thing we just talked about earlier. Other cultures, they understand that. You know, Mm -hmm. they, you know, you go up the street to Beachwood, Mm -hmm. the Jewish community, they got Mm -hmm. all of that locked down. Mm -hmm. They got about three different dry cleaners. You think they're going to be like, don't go to their dry cleaner? You know, they got all the restaurants. You think they're going to say, don't go to their restaurant? Right. No. They are patronizing each other. They're keeping the wealth in their community. Mm-hmm. And they're growing. And they've got money. But yeah. it's like, we just got to learn that. So, no, um, and it's not our fault. It's not our fault. Because they 
put us against each other. But I'm just trying to bring back, we trying to bring back yeah. that community. So, create a space where we cultivate our community. Come on out. <laughs> 30480 Lakeshore. Come on now. Come on now. All right, we got some slide up. We already got wine in the building right, this weekend. Right. We got Hubs Groove. We've been trying to chill, relax. Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I ain't seen Hubs Groove. <laughs> Ray Jr. I Ray seen. Jr. We done had, um, like, Five, Bible study. Ten, <laughs> Bible study. I'm like, um, concerts, um, album release parties, uh, birthday parties, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's it's so versatile. That you're art gallery. Much. Oh, when yeah. we had the art gallery, that event was great. We had some mm -hmm. students come from um, wow. Case. And um, they did an art gallery. I was so proud of them because they're very young, mm -hmm. like 19, 20. Nice. Um, so they put on this amazing event. Um, tattoo artists in there, live painting, sip and paint, you know, and then um, they had some spoken word, and it was just like packed in there, but it was like going. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So we trying to bring events mm -hmm. like that where we could just have a million things going. Um, like, you know, you were just at the event, you in a music studio, y'all doing y'all mm -hmm. yeah, podcasts, yeah, yeah. we out here, had you know, time. vendors, we had a good time. Yeah. So, as long as we have an event like that, we could bring all different um, types of entrepreneurs. Even if you just getting your feet wet, bring everybody together and just build and expand and grow together because yeah. that's what it's all about. Absolutely, and I, like I said, I, I just want to get get y'all y'all flowers because again, I, I I don't think I knew y'all from Adam or now. I was like, come on in. I'm like, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I, I yeah, we family yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, we game game now. Hey. I, I, I you last yeah. year, so now it's like a full circle moment. Oh, so it's like yeah. we're family now. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. <laughs> I got love for creative space. I appreciate y'all. So okay, so as we wind down, we get to our simple questions. I hear now, you. I'm about to say you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to take a drink. Yeah, take, take a drink, right? <laughs> and um, and this is where I think you're gonna thrive at because just like how we on the political experience, all about the collaboration mm -hmm. piece. Okay. So are y'all, yeah, yeah. you know. So uh -huh. our the question I'm gonna ask you is. How do you figure we can change the narrative of Cleveland not being a collaborative space? Because it does have a stigma, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But once again, what y'all are doing, yeah. what y'all need to do, the yeah. public experience is trying to change the narrative. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you think we can change that? I think changing the narrative just boils down to collaborating. You know, let's collaborate. Let's make space and opportunity for people to, you know, gather in together and um, just really. You know, take off whatever type of business, whatever things you're trying to do, and um, really um, being transparent. Um, yeah. Just like right now, what we're doing, me being mm -hmm. transparent with the process, mm -hmm. um, just like not gatekeeping. You know, letting mm -hmm. people know different things, and that's that's gonna make the big difference. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, you got you and you guys are a, a, a shining example of just once again what collaboration can look like. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, and then who do you like to collaborate in the future? Cause y'all, wait, let me say, let me talk about, cause y'all, who are y'all not collaborating with? We can collaborate with, with the city, we can um, collaborate okay. with, um, Dance Cleveland. So once a month they come in and do a whole little salsa, merengue, it's like a nightclub. Yeah. Um, we collaborate in, like I told you, you know, different communities with the youth, autistic community, um, so with saying. school districts. Yeah. I really want to collaborate, um, I'm trying to, you know, get in with the mayor. Come on now. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get in yeah. with the mayor. Yeah, come on, Bill. Uh, <laughs> hey, shout out to you, Bill. I'm trying to get in with the mayor. Programming, um, yeah. utilizing the space. Um, mm -hmm. I just came from a um, event with the Cavs and the Monsters, talking about how they collaborate with them. So shout out to y'all. I'm trying to collaborate on, with huh? everybody. Yeah. So any major business, um, whoever wanna collaborate, I'm open. And we're open and we trying to do it. So trying to do where it. y'all at? Reach okay. out. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Email us. <laughs> CreativeSpaceCLE.com. <laughs> Find us on Instagram. CreativeSpace. She. <laughs> That's like, Reach hey, out. Right. I'm gonna email you and you email me back. Mm. And let's collaborate. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dear, I can just already tell because you're you're not even close to being finished because uh -huh. you still have so much more to go so much more to achieve mm -hmm. um but legacy uh when it does come down to that what would you like the legacy to be for you and uh clearly the many 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 accolades that you'll have <laughs> throughout your lifetime what would you like the legacy to be for your businesses um 
I want the legacy to um, just be um, helping the community and just helping to see other people thrive. Um, so as long as um, my kids are thriving mm -hmm. and um, really my kids seeing that anything is possible, you know, mm -hmm. um, and other people seeing anything is possible as long as you have the passion, the patience, and, you know, put God first and really mm -hmm. um, uh, leaning on your um on your team on your your partner on your your friends your family like um just that you know the people i work with we're family you know mm -hmm. um we really want to see each other thrive we really want to um you know have everybody tra tap into their true potential no matter what it is like you know everybody who works at daycare they're working there but it's like, what's your five-year goal? What's your, what are you doing next? What are you doing outside of this? So everybody got some project that they're working on, you know? Yeah, so, growing for better, big and better. Yeah, bigger. growing for big and better. That's and big. that's why I just want the legacy to really be um, anybody who comes in contact with me, who comes in contact with, um, you know, my business that is really helping them long-term so they can leave a legacy, yeah. you know? Yeah. So my legacy is helping other people to leave their own, you know? Honey, wow. five episodes. And that is an <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome. I got a mouthpiece. I mean, that's, what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. Well, listen, just as you have inspired and encouraged us, um, I'm sure those who are watching also have just really been blown away by your story, by your journey. Um, through the ups and downs and turnarounds of everything that you've been through. And so here's what I like to call like the challenge question, okay. I guess you could say. <laughs> because now we have to take everything that you've given us, Tracy, and we just got to pretty much just shrink Sign it down it to three, yeah, <laughs> okay. three key components of what you would like for, for them to gather from tonight's episode. Okay. <laughs> we y'all in gems, Tracy. You okay. have. You've been like a um, thing of. Three things. <laughs> three that things. is so hard. I know. Okay. Um, so my first thing is um, your passion and purpose is going to always lead to profit. Title of this episode. <laughs> I know I feel like the other one, wow. but that's what it is right there. Yeah, the, the so, P's. Is killing it. Yeah. The three P's. <laughs> okay. So, right. um... I really Say one more time for me, Trey. Say one more time. Your passion and your purpose is going to always lead to profit. Ooh. So um, just keep that. doing whatever <laughs> you're passionate about. Um, don't ever think you have to stay in a dead-end job or a nine-to-five wow. that you don't oh, like. Um, step out on faith, and God yeah. is going to provide. That's good. Right. Okay? Um, let's see. Another one. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That's like twelve and all. That's the three That's the three things. Um, um, just uh, let me see. Um, build your community. Um, yeah. build your community. And um, what is my third one? My third one is let's see. Trust the process. Yeah. I'm gonna say trust the process and um. Just keep at whatever you're doing. Remember to um, let your dreams, your dreams can take you anywhere. Shout out Dream Inc. Your mm. dreams can literally take you anywhere. That's, um, that's, that's what I tell my kids. That's what I tell my students. That's what I tell my mentees. Like, reach for the stars because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you can do anything. Now, listen, right now. Listen. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> <speak this>. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, and like I was, I was gonna say, uh, you are kind of alluded. We're gonna ask. This is the most important question. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be reach you, okay. and you are kind of alluded. Yeah, there, you but, gotta but, give them a little bit. But like okay. my kid can play the recorder real good. Is how, how, how can I how can I reach you? You know what I'm saying? I think got a little talent. Okay, um, so I already shouted out the Creative Space. Mm -hmm. You can email us. You can contact us there. Um, you could contact me for programming is um tsdreaminc at gmail or you can um catch me on social media um is xoxo underscore tracy and yeah Listen. <laughs> and for all my lazy people it will be in the show notes so it don't will be in the notes yeah. so yeah, it'll be reach notes. out to me yes. I'm ready to collaborate Absolutely. I'm ready to take your business venture to the next level Come on now. I'm ready to teach to inform and yeah. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. And if you are not doing anything this Friday, come out this Friday. Yes, come space. out this Friday because the wine is whining. <laughs> and we're going to have that in the building. Yep. We're going to have some networking. We're going to have headshots, you know, live interviews. Shots and, beer. Just, yes, beer. <laughs> and just really um, connecting and, you know, kicking it. That's kick right. It. Kick, kick it. It's going to be a kick it. It's going to be a kick it. And you're going to learn and you're going to, you know. Be yeah. great people in the process. Be great. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Well, listen, Trace, we appreciate yeah. it so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. Yeah, it's it's full circle, right? Yes, yeah, full circle <laughs> moment. This is awesome. Yeah, we, we try, we try, we try. Uh, so, guys, we have to pay some bills. Guys, okay. Trace, what are you doing April 18th? Uh, wherever you want me to be. Okay. It's funny because we're going to be over at Chris Bay. But. <laughs> <laughs> also, y'all, listen. So, listen, guys. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. David Shams, yes. creator of Social Proof Podcast. If you're not familiar with Social Proof Podcast, what are you doing with your life? Mm-hmm. If you like to put on experience, I know you dang sure going to like the uh, Social Proof Podcast. Yes. Right. But he's coming to Cleveland, Ohio, guys. He's coming from Atlanta to Cleveland yes. to come and show In you. City. Yes. 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 Show you, yes, you, about how to start a podcast, how to monetize your podcast, and literally just learn every aspect there is a podcast and there is. Mm-hmm. You learn it from the master nice. here, okay? Yeah. And the best part about all this is free, okay? All I need you to do <laughs> is text Podcast Summit, all one word, to 33777. Yes. <laughs> uh, guys, it's going to be, and listen, because tickets going fast. Last time I checked, we're at 30 tickets now. Mm. So listen, you want to get your tickets very yes. fast, okay? Yes. It's going to be, uh, if you're a podcaster, if you're an entrepreneur, I tell people in a heartbeat, Websites were it, social media was it, podcasting in the way. Mm-hmm. Y'all have a podcast too, y'all knew y'all yes. knew what time it was, right? Get in the podcast. <laughs> Get in the podcast. It's a new way. Absolutely. Right. So you bring the expert to, to, to come and teach you, okay? So guys, mm-hmm. do it. Do it now, okay? Yes. <laughs> Bring. It's been a pleasure. That's right. And you guys check me out weekly on Beauty Tone Podcast. Again, just trying to help you guys, whether it be lifestyle, whether it be relational, financial. And again, from time to time, having phenomenal guests on that are going to really just help me to expound on different topics. And again, the overall is to make a positive change. So I can't wait to see you guys there. <laughs> Gosh, episode 190. Five. Yes, it's a wrap. It, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. And, and when, I, when I tell y'all guys, uh, this is not, we don't take this lightly because most podcasts don't make it past episode ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We're one hundred ninety five episodes, and we'll say lightly that you guys are subscribed, you guys are liking, you guys mm-hmm. are sharing. And last time I checked the numbers, we are at seven point four million views. Oh. Uh, and we still have fifteen thousand subscribers. So tell your friend, tell your mama That's right. uh, to subscribe. <laughs> But it keeps growing, and y'all That's are right. just, I, we can't thank you enough. And God is good because, once again, y'all showing that y'all want to hear a great story like Tracy's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you got, it's, it's a need for it here in the city. So uh, mm-hmm. please continue to do what you guys are doing, and we'll see you guys next time. Road to 100, okay? <laughs> yeah. 200. 200. Oh, yeah, I said 200. Wait, I got him. I got him. Well, thank you. Thank you. Pretty, pretty be on me now. All right. So we'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>